yeah, so I started on Disney with a little guest star. Not even, I think it was like a co-star, it was like an under five. Did some random guest stars, um, and then I finally got a pilot for Nickelodeon in 2012, and that didn't go, um, and that was hard. But um, 2013, I was released from my Nickelodeon contract. That was hard for me too, because I they, they let me go essentially. And then 2013 came around, and and uh, I had known about the Thundermans. And, and then it came out that there was going to be a recast for another pilot. And they were aging down the older brother to be a twin. And that's when Nickelodeon reached out to um, my representation and, and basically told them what was happening and that we really see Jack in this role and because they knew me from the pilot and I was kind of already in the Nick family and they brought me in just for the chemistry read. And that was it. Yeah, that's how I booked the role. As soon as I moved to LA and began to see everything up close, you know what I mean? Because there's somewhat of a, it's almost like this mysterious sort of um, illusion that gets, that comes crumbling down when a kid walks onto a TV set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you see everything, you see there's no roof and you see all the lights yeah. and it's fake and you're like, it's all not real. In the beginning, Nickelodeon had Kira and I sing the theme song for for the show, and they ended up not using it. It was like the weirdest thing, and it sounded good. Right. And every, yeah, we like heard it, and then they just decided to like have some random person sing it. <laughs> so because when they, when the show premiered, we were expecting to hear us, and we were like, "That's weird. It's not us." Yeah. But I guess it was some sort of you know uh, complicated thing, um, decision. I'm sure multiple people uh, have to do that kind of stuff. It's just that now it's like doing the show and I, and I really don't know what I want to do musically. Like I, some days I want to be in a band and sometimes I just want to be solo and sometimes like when I'm here in New York I see myself being on Broadway and it's like there's so many interests and in, in, in things so I'm just kind of waiting for the right time. When I was a kid I, I did a lot of community theater and uh, musicals and stuff like that and it was only when I was like 13 when I went out to LA. And, you know, my original plan wasn't L.A., it was New York, it was here. It was, I was going to come here and go to college here, like my older brothers, for theater. Um, at either, like, NYU or Juilliard or Marymount or something like that. That was my plan. And, uh, and that all kind of went by the wayside when I went to uh, L.A. I think the people that you choose to surround yourself with and um, associate yourself with is really important, um, you know, to keep you grounded. And like, I, I keep really close ties to my hometown friends, and I credit a, I credit a lot of my, you know, sense of normalcy to that. To like, you know, that I, you know, they're in college now, but we'll just call and talk, and like that, those relationships, you know, over the years have become. It's become obvious to me that it's really important to.